Howdy folks, it's been a long time since we did an update on our greenhouse and I wanted to show you the progress and what we've got accomplished so far. As you can see, all of our arches are up, the structure is actually built, and we're in the process now of covering it with greenhouse plastic. We are putting two layers of plastic on. There's two on the end walls, There's one inside, one outside for both end walls and there are two sheets of plastic over the top of the greenhouse. We just finished installing the blower that inflates the top layer and right there you can see the little white cap that is the diffuser that's where the air comes out and inflates the canopy the top and it's up and running now I'm pretty tickled with it. Uh, we still have quite a bit to do we do not have the fan for the heat sink installed yet. It's not going to be a big issue to do. I uh, do not have the manifold that that fan is going to attach to. Do not have it in. We do have it. It's ready to go. Uh, that shouldn't take a whole lot of time to do. I wanted to get electricity actually to the greenhouse before I do that. And that, of course, is still on our list of things that we need to accomplish. I'm hoping to get, no, the next thing we are going to do is we're going to get our side walls on and then I'm going to have to build a door. And the door is going to be this rectangle here just to the right of that two step ladder and cut the plastic out and we're going to have to build our own door. We went with a pretty wide doorway to allow us to get our, we have a one yard cart, it'll hold a yard of material to get it in and out of the greenhouse for filling the grow boxes with our sand and sawdust. They don't make a door that big. We're just going to build it out of 2x4s, cover it with the greenhouse plastic, and that will serve our needs. It's going to be pretty simple, not fancy. It's a greenhouse, it don't have to be. And if we build our own door versus going with a solid door of some kind. We can actually get a little bit of light through it and with a greenhouse you want as much light as you can get. The next thing that we're going to build or do is going to be our side curtains and of course they're going on each side and this kit is a little bit different than a lot of others. The others, the sides will typically roll up. There's a roller at the bottom and you roll it from the bottom towards the top. This greenhouse kit, they have a curtain that actually secures at the bottom and it comes down from the top. And I like that for a couple of different reasons. First off, it is closer to the heat that needs to be removed from the greenhouse. Of course, the heat is going to be at the top. So by having the curtain come down, you're going to get more of that hot air that's going to escape. It's not going to build up so far in the greenhouse and it's going to be able to vent just a little bit better. The other thing I liked, and I don't know if this is true or not, this is just me, but if it's secured at the bottom and you lower it from the top down, you're going to be less likely to get critters, varmint, that are going to climb inside your greenhouse to go in there and get a snack. In the spring, if I only have to open it a foot, there's still going to be four feet of plastic here. That's a little better than a five foot hole there. So there's still going to be four feet of plastic that's going to keep critters from getting in. If it rolled up from the bottom, you open it up a foot and cats and dogs and coons and every other critter could easily get inside the greenhouse. We need to get the side curtains up and get those to function and then the greenhouse will hold heat. If it is cold or rainy, I can come out here and a lot of the other work I'm going to be able to do inside in the warmth and out of the, the rain and the snow inside the greenhouse. Now, let me move the camera just a little bit here. There we go. Inside the greenhouse, they're kind of covered with the excess plastic right now, are the four grow boxes that we're going to use. They are two by eight boards, and the boxes are 18 inches wide and 30 feet long. Those are going to be filled with sand and sawdust, when they're in place leveled and trued up. 
but that doesn't need to be done right now. We're going to get the greenhouse up and functional before I do that. There's going to be, uh, true to the Mitlider method, there's going to be three and a half feet between each grow box. All right, something else. Uh, we don't know if we're going to need more heat shedding ability during the summer months. We have built in a rectangle here and we've just covered it with plastic for now. There's one on each end. If we find that just having the side curtains all the way down does not shed enough heat from the greenhouse and it negatively affects our garden, we will cut the plastic out there, both layers inside and outside. We'll build a little door that we can drop down and cover it with plastic and if it gets too hot in the summer months we can up, open up both of those little doors and shed heat right off the top of the greenhouse. Oh, and I see now that our canopy is fully inflated. That's pretty cool. The folks that make, make this kit, uh, Zimmerman's High Tunnel, they suggested that I not inflate these in walls. They say uh, considering it's wooden construction, put a layer on the inside and the outside and that should be sufficient if for some reason we decide that we want to inflate that as well. We did drill holes and all of that lumber in the end wall to allow air to flow through it to blow it up. There's a pretty simple kit to install, a jumper kit that we can go from the canopy here to the end wall and then of course we'd need another one to go down there too. Cat, your claws and my knee hurt. Knock it off. I'm glad you're happy to see me but ow. Um, where was I? Oh, for now we're not going to do, we're not going to inflate the end walls. We're going to follow their suggestion and see how we do this winter. It's going to be hard to see in this video and I'm not going to show you. You can just take my word for it. The first end wall that we did is on this end here and we had a little bit of a wind when we did it but we wanted to get it done so we went ahead and tried anyway. This end wall we ha we caught a time when there was no wind at the right temperature got it up and this wall looks significantly better than the end wall down there. All right, this is turning out to be a pretty long video but I, I did want you to see what we've accomplished. Uh, I'm pretty tickled with it so far. It's a lot more work than I thought I was really getting into, but I am indeed happy with it. Oh, one other thing I would like to add, I took an extra step here in all of my boards on every edge that is going to come in contact with plastic. I radiused or rounded off the edges with a little bit of sandpaper. It took me Oh, a good part of a whole day to get everything sanded. But anywhere that a plastic is touching, and even on the flat surfaces, like on this end wall, I went ahead and sanded off all the snags and made it smooth. And hopefully that's going to help to make that plastic last longer. Where here, that plastic goes over that hip board, which is that top board. That edge is rounded off pretty good and it's smooth so that I don't have any burrs to to rub a hole in our plastic. We'll see. Alright, as always, thanks for watching and we are going to be continuing to build this and I hope to do updates more frequently. Our schedule's slowing down quite a bit and I'm going to have more time to be able to do these again. If you have any questions, let us know.